everyone, my name is Simran Pawar Sachin Morali. I have so many names and um, that brings me into the topic that we're going to be talking about today, which is mixed race stereotypes and identity crisis. Now, before I begin, um, I'd just like to say to Ted, my mom says hi, she thinks you're an actual person, so she sends her regards. Uganda is a country where everyone is embraced. You know, uh, Uganda is a home for everyone. You know, I can genuinely say this and like cross my heart, hope to die. And you know, this is this is home. You know, uh, most of the times we have friends who go out to study in other parts of Africa, to study in you know the UK, the States. And the one thing they do as soon as they get there is start posting, oh my God, I miss home, I miss Uganda. Like, why did you go? You know, like, you chose to go, you're gone, you're gone. Are you not embarrassed? So Uganda is home to everyone, whether you leave, whether you stay, whether you're coming through for the very first time, this is home. Now Uganda is my home and every home has its challenges. One of the biggest ones in Uganda is people do not really understand the concept of being mixed race. Now this is a conversation that so many people are uncomfortable having because, well, these days in this generation, you cannot say anything about race and not offend someone. But I'm not looking forward to offending anyone today. It's, it's not what I do, that's not how I roll. Today I actually just wanna genuinely speak about some of the stereotypes that come from Uganda directed towards mixed race people. Number one, being mixed race does not mean you're necessarily supposed to be light skin. Now this is a problem that I have all the time. People are always trying to guess my ethnicity, my background, where I'm from. And honestly, they have a really, really difficult time doing it because I'm, I'm very mixed, you know. Um, my a quick history of my background. My dad is Indian. My mom is Kenyan, Ugandan, throw in a bit of Caribbean. With the amount of anime I watch, I'm Japanese by choice, by choice. And um, I'm ba we're basically, there's people who have married into my family that have come through with their own culture, their own traditions. And this is something that we have. We're multiracial. Now, so many people will think that being mixed race means you have to be light skinned. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that. Now, there's a difference between mixed race and mixed caste. You can be a mixed caste person, meaning that, let's say your dad is from northern Uganda, your mom is from eastern Uganda. You know, that is your mixed caste. Now, mixed race is, uh, let's say, I'm Afro-Asian, Caribbean. Now, let's say someone else is um, African white. I don't, I don't know if there's such a thing as African white. We really consider it as Africans in Africa. Everyone's just African. You just, you know. But there's so many different types of people that are, you know, mixed race. And it doesn't necessarily mean that. Because I can be Jamaican African and be dark skinned, but I'm still mixed race. So that's the first stereotype. The second stereotype. And this one's in terms of relationships. Most of the times in Uganda, if they see a very dark-skinned woman going out with a very white man, people automatically think she's in it for the money. You know, it's, we don't want your cent here. We make our own money. We make our own money. You know what I'm saying? So that is another stereotype that needs to be tackled. It is possible, and it's very likely that the two are in love. It's not just a money thing. Thirdly, Mixed race boys are heartbreakers. Now this one's a little bit true. It's a little bit true, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit true. But it's also a stereotype. There's so many mixed race boys who are loyal, very loyal. It, it can happen. I hear someone laughing in the audience, but it can happen. I don't know if it can happen, but I, I'm vouching for it. It can happen, okay? Another thing I get is, if you are a mixed race, child to a single mother people automatically assume they don't even they don't even consider the fact that oh maybe maybe the father passed away it automatically turns into this child is the product of fornication before marriage 
and the dad decided, you know what, spot you, I'm done here. That's another stereotype that needs to be stopped, you know? Now, I'm talking about all these stereotypes and all these problems that people genuinely, you know, face as mixed race people. But the reason that's why I'm bringing this up is because stereotypes tend to be a leading factor to leading into, I forgot what I was about to say. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, yes. Stereotypes tend to be the biggest factor to leading people into identity crisis. Now, identity crisis is a pretty big deal too, you know? So like I told you guys, my dad's Indian, my mom's what my mom is, but when you ask my baby sister, what do you identify as? She tells people she's Eritrean, and, and I think about it, and I'm like, what part of our parents is Eritrean, you know? Because it becomes so difficult for us to walk in town. I mean, when I introduce myself to someone, hi, I'm Sims, and um, I'm Ugandan. I hold a Ugandan passport. I'm Ugandan. The first thing they're going to say is, what? No, you can't be. You're, you're something else. What are you? What are you really? The first thing they automatically think is she's Arab. I go with that sometimes. I'm like, yes, salam alaikum. How are you doing? I am Arab. You know, I am Arab. Let's go with it. So I do understand when my 12 year old sister tells me that she tells people she's Eritrean or Ethiopian, but I don't want my 12 year old sister to lose her identity in creating this false reality for herself, just so that she can give people an answer satisfactory enough for them. I feel like mixed race people should be embraced. We should be appreciated. We should be accepted into society because we have the hardest time trying to pick between sides. Now there's so many parts to being mixed race. Don't, don't get me wrong, don't think, oh my gosh, she's just sticking to the bad side. Mm, being mixed race must be really, really trash. No, honestly, it's not. I'm just sticking to the bad side like it is. But there is a good side to being mixed race. Firstly, you get to embrace and be involved in so many cultures at the same time. You know, you've got your dad's people, your mom's people, you've got the extended family, and it's, it's just beautiful being in that, you know? And then the second thing, the second part is you learn different languages. Maybe you don't necessarily know how to speak them, but you can pick up on it when someone's talking. So those of you who think I don't understand what you're saying, check yourselves, okay? I know what you're saying. I might not, but I do. And um, genuinely, being mixed race is fun because not only do you have this difference in culture and opinion and all that, it's more like you also get to share these things with the world. I personally do not keep it to myself. You know, I tend to embrace it and talk to so many people about it. I tell my friends about, you know, how many different things I have in my family, how many different cultures we have, how many different, you know, um, languages, foods, all that stuff. It makes you different. I feel like humanity's biggest problem is accepting differences. And as mixed race people, honestly, I strongly believe that mixed race people can bridge the gap because as much as, yes, I'm half of this and I'm half of that, it can be a uniting factor, you know? Bring people together, explore diversity. That's how I feel about it. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but do let me know. And thank you so much 